I was upset, but I said, okay. Went back in the studio, start working with Jermaine Dupree. Wow. Um, with um, Mark Gordon from Levert. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Bobby Wooten, who was the same guy that worked on Keith. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who was on my second album. Um, I worked with Bobby Wooten on my first two. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a few, few great producers actually producing now. Um, Reese Johnson, uh, producer, declared that I just did the new, my new single yeah. with he. I've been working with him since '94, so he was he had worked on that album as well. So it was, it was the album was crazy. It was a dope album. You finished and recording it. Finished recording it. Everything was ready to go, and they got a new team in, and they dropped. 15 artists and it was me, Jody Watley, wow. Eric B. Um, it was a whole bunch of us that got dropped. 15 of us. Wow. And I was devastated. I was devastated. And I was like, I'm not singing anymore. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm not doing this. I can't do this anymore. It's too much. And, you know, I was just like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. So I started I started, um, I was pregnant with my first son. So I was like, you know what? Let me just have my baby and be a mom, you know? And after I had him, um, I went to school for cosmetology because I was not going to sing. I was like, I'm not singing. I don't want to sing. So I went to school for cosmetology. While I'm in school, I get a phone call because I'm still an MCA writer, right? So I get a phone call from my, my rep, Kim Jackson, and she says, okay, I have a situation for you. And I was like, what? And she's like, um, two things. Two, two groups need a singer. And they want to know if you're interested. And I said, who? She said, the brand new heavies and family stand. They did get to heaven, right? Yes. Okay. So I was like, oh. Oh, which one? <laughs> I was like, I like oh, I don't know how to choose. So I said, if I have to choose one, I would say the family stand. Because I knew Sandra St. Victor. You know, Sandra was my girl. You know, I knew she had left the group to go do a solo thing. And, you know, I knew she got to be free and do what she wanted to do uh, in the group, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. as far as doing rock music yeah. and stuff. And I wanted to do some rock. So I was like, you know what? I'll do the family stand. So, I, you know, I met Pete and Jeff. We get together. Um, Pete played the songs for me and had me sing. And he was like, hands down, this is you. So Sylvia Rome, she consented yes jackie's gonna do it yes 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 <laughs> so i ended up doing um an album called connected with the family stand and that's one of my favorite records i love that album yeah i love 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 that album yeah and it's a mix when it came out you know, rock and down, yeah. yes yes but it was a it i think me me being on it made it a little bit more r&b ish <laughs> and uh and but it was it was a great album and we were all working together at the at that time um family stand had they were producing Corey glover's solo solo album that he did through the face and um it was another group on on that was signed to um pete and jeff um the the uh well, the good fellas and the good fellas had uh, sugar honey iced tea and um if you walk away so we all started doing shows together we would do little shows you know around new york and wherever we ever, wherever we went and um you know we were doing that and we started we came to the uk um they were ready to do this big european tour with family stand and um Everything was set up, and then boom, that gets pulled, and it's like, oh come on, this I can't, I can't, I can't. And 
after that, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I did um, songs for, I did jingles for television and radio. And I, I was doing artist development then too. I started doing the artist development too huh, when I was still on MCA. Um, and I started working with all these other artists and I just did that. That was, you know, and I was being, and then I was like, let me just be mommy. Cause I was pregnant with my second son okay. when I, um, when they decided they weren't going to do the family stand uh, tour and, and everything just fell apart. I was pregnant with my second son. And I said, you know what? I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm just going to have my baby. They're like, no, I'm not doing it. So everyone's going to um, ask me. What 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 happened to that your second album that you recorded? Where did you do you have a copy of it? Well, because we no, I I don't have it. Um, MCA still owns the rights to some of it. Um, I don't have any of it now. Mark Mark Gordon from Levert, you know we're still really close friends. Um, that's one of my best buddies. Yes, yeah, he with and Chucky with. Booker and. Yeah, Chucky Booker actually worked on my second album, and I sung on Chucky Booker's album as well, on um, this song called um, Deep Sea Diver. That was on the game, the album that Games was on. Um, okay. I sung on the song for Chucky, but Chucky produced my, Chucky was one of the producers too on the second album. Okay. It was Chucky Booker, Jermaine Dupree, Mark Gordon, um, and some other, and Reese, the guy that I'm working with now, I'm and, um, you know, a few people. But no, I don't know who has any of the old stuff. Reese, he does have one, one song that I hated. And I was like, <laughs> yuck, no, we're not going to know. No, no, no. Um, but have you listened to the album you know, since then? Have you heard any of the tracks since you recorded it? No. Wow. Are you not curious? I mean, most of us would be dying to... Uh, have you asked any of the producers, like, come on, let's let's try and, like, a jigsaw put the, together that album? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I was like, you know what? It, it obviously wasn't meant to happen, so I let it go. I was just like, no, I let it go. It was not. Mm -mm. Wow. What is, yeah. what, I mean, we, I mean, you've named some really big producers. I mean, Mark Gordon did a lot of stuff with Troop and... So there were there were some big producers, and then you're talking about Jermaine in his early days, and then Chucky. So it must be some really rich music. Oh, Jermaine! Oh, we had a we had a a, a joint that we did um, called Alone. It would have been so big if it came out. It would have been so big. Cause it kind of had that beat of kick off your shoes and yeah, relax. Yeah, yeah, it had yeah. that. Just kicking it beat, but it was it was a it was more of a ballad, you know, yeah, thing. Yeah. And it was like, um, it was um let me see if I can remember it. Um alone, alone, you left me here by myself, you know, good and damn well, you know I shouldn't be alone, alone. It was so cute. I love the song. It would have been so big, but Record never came out. Never came out. Wow. Can they just do that to help spend all that money recording an album and they say, well, it's not going out and then we just lock it up and just throw away the key? That was a hundred thousand. That was a hundred thousand dollars thrown away just on three songs with Jermaine. And that he did a deal. He was giving me a, a discount. <laughs> oh, so that was just his song. It's not the rest. So no. I mean they, Oh, my album cost a lot of money to do. My albums cost a lot of money to do. I was a million, past a million, $1.1 million in a hole with MCA. And my attorneys got all of that wiped off when they dropped me. Wow. They were like, nope. They said, she's pregnant and y'all <laughs> dropping her. And then they got me money. They oh. got me money. And the the million point whatever a wipe out. erase, yep. Wow.
Hey everyone, I want to thank you for being part of Halftime Chats. Um, this new update is really about our membership and I'm really excited to be able to fully launch the membership page. There will be things like full interviews from day one. As soon as the interview drops, you get access to it without any ads on it. Um, there'll be some exclusive member-only videos that will just be some behind-the-scenes stuff and some other things that we will never be broadcast. Um, for some members, you can be able to get actually two interviews because we do have I do have a backlog of almost two or th seven or eight interviews that I don't even know when I'm going to be able to broadcast them. So you're able to get at least some of those up front and um, and some some ex some just behind the scenes stuff because there's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes that I have never been able to 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 talk about or release. Um, for anyone else, you know what the videos will still be the same um over f over a week or a week and a half or two weeks depending on how long it is um so everything stays the same the polls stay the same the community chats the community stuff stays the same but i think with the membership stuff i'm able to add a little bit more and invest a lot more time and energy in in in, in really supporting the members so i do hope you come on that ride with me i appreciate the support and um, this will just help me continue to invest in taking things to the next level. Take care.